Hello friends, and welcome. Welcome to today's ASMR Reiki healing session. Today's session is focused on the concept of transformation. It has been designed to aid and support us during times of change, during metamorphosis, transformation, and growth by aligning ourselves within our being enabling us to process change and release anything that is no longer serving us and to align us in the energies of transformation, aiding us to step forward and grow into new forms. If that sounds good, let's begin. We're going to begin this session by setting our intention. My intention for this ASMR Reiki healing session is to aid us with transforming, with changing, enabling us to align in new transformative ways to aid us in working with these energies of transformation, to release those things, those energies, thoughts, feelings, emotions, ideas that are no longer serving us, that are no longer in alignment with our current being and enabling us to move forward into change, aiding us to step into our own personal transformation. If you would like to add your own specific intention, do so now. We are going to start by cleansing the space around us. We're going to use this patchouli incense. And as we cleanse our energetic body and our atmosphere and we settle into our being. We're going to talk about this concept of transformation.
transformation, a thorough or dynamic change in form or appearance, a metamorphosis. Transform to make a thorough or drastic change in the form, appearance, or character. Change by transformation. The product of transformation. So the whole process of transformation is really making change, adjusting to change, seeing change. The difference is that transformation tends to be drastic or sudden. on many levels, not just one. The result of small changes that we have put into place. Transformation is based on changes in our thoughts, changes in our perspectives, our processing, changes in our actions and our routines. Transformation can be a slow process of small changes that suddenly show in this big drastic change around us. Or it can be sudden, quite abrasive. But in whatever form transformation comes to you in, it is here for a reason. It is here to help you to expand and to grow and to align with your most authentic self. first crystal energy that we are going to bring in is this beautiful Hemonite. This stone supports our personal transformation by grounding us within our being and strengthening our faith in ourself. It helps us to get unstuck, to get moving. It works within our energetic field, allowing us to see in new ways, in new grounded ways, in new whole holistic ways, allowing us to connect back in with our truest self, to see the lessons within the experiences around us. It also helps to cleanse out old, outdated energies, to ground them back into the earth, to be transmuted into new, fresh energies, bringing in that new flow of energy, refreshing us, aiding us, to transform in refreshing ways, bringing in new experiences that will take us to that new step of being, that will allow us to connect back in with ourself. So I really would like us to call upon those things that are no longer in alignment with ourselves, those outdated thoughts, feelings, emotions, actions, and really to call those energies forth to be released.
bringing those things up to the surface to be grounded by the heavenite to dissipate back into the universe around us anything that is blocking us from transforming into newness anything that is no longer in our alignment Allowing those energies to come forth, ready to be scooped away. going to use the little peppercorn shakers as a rattle to help dissipate those energies that are a little bit finer to transmute and cleanse them. Really think about releasing anything that is no longer in alignment with your truest being. to use this beautiful shell to scoop out all those negative emotions, all those outdated processes, all those experiences that have been transmuted and are ready to move on. Any energies, any emotions, feelings, thoughts, any of those things you want to push forward into your energetic body, we are going to scoop them out and allow them to be reflected back into the universe to be transmuted into different forms. Knowing that in order to transform, we must release those things that no longer serve us. We must release those outdated processes that are inhibiting us.
have one last crystal that I'm going to bring in to help clear before we add some newer vibrational energies. And this is Black Onyx. This is a stone that teaches us that when we transform, we release the old and we embrace the new ways of being. It reminds us that all the dark and challenging times that we go through are powerful lessons, that they are there to help us to grow. This stone helps us to release those things that are no longer serving us while assisting us in facing our shadow side. It helps us to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and it also is a very protective stone. A stone that will allow us to release those things that are ready to go, but protect those things that we would like to hold on to, or we would like to change and transform through this process of embracing transformation. And I also have a beautiful clear quartz. That ha it's quite a fractured inside to help balance out and bring kind of a light and dark aspect to transformation to our perspectives and our energy right now because transformation is a balancing of these things a coming into being a evolution a metamorphosis within ourselves a new way of thinking a new way of seeing a new way of expressing a new way of showing, a new way of creating, a new way of showing our true selves from the foundation of being. Really combing these energies through to allow them to dissipate into our energetic body and flow to any places where they are needed, anywhere that where the energy needs to be transmuted and unstuck to allow this flow of energy up from around this grounding of energy both up into us and back down from us this connection of divine or energy coming down into us but us also connecting back up into the divine into the collective into our connection with others a lot of the time when we talk about transformation it is from a spiritual aspect and spiritual transformation involves a fundamental change in a person's sacred or spiritual life So you could say spiritual transformation could be at the basic level of adding in prayer or gratitude or meditation or taking that time for yourself. In so changing the way that we not only see ourselves but our connection with the divine and others around us. And this spiritual transformation it consists of a change in our meaning systems so in a change in the way that we process things around us and what is meaningful and holds value to us and these things are the things that we use as the basis of our self-definition of our interpretation of life of finding our purpose and our ultimate concerns. So really, a spirit, our spiritual transformation 
is at its core a transformation of how we see ourselves, how we see the divine, and how we see everything around us. And really, you have to find this for yourself. This takes so many different forms for everyone. The way that you approach your spirituality and your beliefs is down to you. What's important is connecting back to your being and allowing those things that don't connect or align with your heart, your voice, your perceptions, your mind, your higher being, and allowing them to go, adjusting, evolving, changing. We're going to use this citrine. The citrine is a stone of manifestation, abundance, and strength. It is a stone that helps us to make those eternal changes, those shifts of perception, those advancements with ourself that we can then put forward and step into this abundance from within and without. It is also a stone that cleanses our energetic body. It naturally cleanses itself. It helps us to look forward to the new life around us, to be thankful, to have gratitude, to move forward. We're going to use this citrine point to bring in balance that will allow us to shift into that internal alignment, to shift into our abundance, to step into our transformation. to ground it from our being, to step into this new beginning, this change, with this authenticity of self, knowing that we are transforming for our own being, not for those around us, not for the path we are walking, ultimately for ourselves, for our better good, for our better alignment, for the place that we need to be. allowing its vibrations to energize us. Change can be scary, but it's exciting. Without change, we will not grow. Without transformation, we will not find ourselves better, find our path, walk with our heads held high. Transformation will set you free. Just embrace those energies. Remember that you are the co-creator and at any stage you can step and change in any way that you want. And know that you have all the abundance you need within you. That you will attract the balance that you need within your life. Attracting those things that will bring you into better alignment, into your true authenticity. Allowing your light to shine from within. Allowing you to show your true colors, to be your true self, and to know that it's all part of the process. Mm -hmm. 
And I have one last crystal before we fluff up our energies and our aura. And it's this beautiful amethyst. Allow this amethyst to guide you to what is significant to whatever you are going through. Allow it to bring you clarity and insight into those life changes and energies that bring you positive experiences that support you, that raise your consciousness. Allow the old skins of the past to go. Allow yourself to step into the new. Knowing that you are divinely guided, that you are connected, and that by allowing yourself to surrender to change rather than resist it, you will be able to sparkle and grow in new ways. Knowing that you are exactly where you need to be in this moment and the next. Focusing on those things that bring you clarity and joy. Allowing these amethyst to direct energy to where you need it within your energetic body, within your mind and your feelings. Knowing that change is important for our overall growth. We're going to use this orange essential oil. To give our energetic body a boost, to refresh it in this new transformation, enabling us to step forward with love, acceptance, and purpose with our next moves, knowing that we have the ability to transform and change at any moment, at any time. We have the strength to change our thoughts and our ideas and to see in new perspectives as we process and gain new information. That we can express and show our value and our energy in new and exciting ways to learn how to support ourselves on this journey for we will transform again and again and again throughout our existence here on earth Moving our energetic body, allowing it to find its natural alignment for each of us personally, allowing those energies that we need to hold within to stay within and those that we need to shift without to shift without, allowing this energetic body and our energetic field to adapt and change as we adapt and change, knowing that everything we do brings newness and change. Know that when we surrender to the process, the process surrenders to us. I hope that you this session. I hope that you are embracing the transformation happening 
think within your being and your life. Stand tall, my friend. Know that you are perfect just the way you are. And that in whatever way you change, you are loved and accepted. Until the next time.